Hi everyone, my name is Harley and welcome to Trans by Death on Saturdays. Late night. <laughs> Hi everyone, so today is Saturday night, I'm considering it still Saturday night. <laughs> um, so today we're talking about career, schooling, the whole kabata. <laughs> Alright, so, right, so I'm going to start things off in high school. Um, it's really late so my eyes are kind of getting kind of baggy. Uh, so in high school I was in ROTC, I was a commander. Um, Lieutenant Commander, um, Junior ROTC. Um, I was very decorated and I had a lot of medals, a lot of um, ribbons and stuff. Um, this was a really cool medal. Was uh, I was in a rifle meet competition and I was top shooter, second overall, second prone, and second standing. The craziest thing was um, I didn't realize I needed glasses at the time. I thought the reason why it was blurry was, I thought that was normal, <laughs> but like, yeah, I thought when I look in and I saw the the black dot a little um, blurry, I was trying my best to measure it over and I think I did pretty well, you know? Um, Alright, so that was, um, I also went to uh, schooling, which is, well, it's kind of like, I consider schooling, but uh, leadership academy. Got this Agulet um, for leadership. Um, definitely was a, a rough um, time there. Wasn't prepared for it. That's you know. But anyways, um, so that's high school. So like after high school, um, I almost enlisted into the Navy um, because I was really into the ROTC. I had a lot of medals, a lot of um, ribbons and stuff. Um, you know, but then I decided not to. There was a lot of reasons why. Um, first, I wasn't sure what I wanted to be. I didn't know, and I knew I knew the military was always going to be there, but I didn't want to like go in there. You know, if I wasn't if I wasn't sure about it, um, so I didn't do it. I decided to go, you know, um, into college. The other part was being, you know, having. A dysphoria, you know, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Um, so that was kind of crazy. Um, so I went to college and I didn't know what I wanted to do in college. So I was like bouncing around. I went from chemistry to directing, directing to movie directing to back to chemistry to music to back to chemistry to what is now computer science. And I got a degree in computer science. Did I fall asleep? I think I did. <laughs> Alright, uh, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, so... College. Um, one thing I wanted to say is... I started my transitioning, like, the last three months of my college. Um, when I started taking hormones, it was... focused. I was more focused on that, on school now, which was weird and actually get my life together, which was kind of interesting. Um, school was definitely difficult um, before transitioning because, you know, stress from work, stress from school, stress from studying, and stress from being dysphoric definitely had an impact on me. Um, there was many times that I probably shouldn't have stayed up that late to study for an exam because there's times I'll just sit so fucking like sit there not wanting to study because I wanted to be a girl and you know it was really difficult for me at least you know um but you know I made it through and you know for those who are transitioning one in school whether it's high school or college um I've never been through that and I imagine it must be really tough um but hang in there stay strong and you'll be happy later 
All right, so I'm just going to do it straight up from here on out without any cuts. I'm really tired. I can't believe I'm really tired right now. But my career, I'm a software engineer. I work at a company that subcontracts to the government. Um, I, I work in a research environment lab, and it's all internal stuff. So any overtime I do um, is unpaid most of the time. Um, so there's times I worked 80 hours and only got paid for 40 and it sucks. <laughs> it really does. Um, it really does. I had to step up and, you know, get me switched on a different project where it's not as much stress like that and they did that. Um, I'm part time, you know, working as a boy over there, coming home as a girl and you know, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I feel like I can't come out there because even though their policy says they accept everything and stuff like that, I've been around so many people that they joke about transgenders and they joke about gay people. And, you know, they're very homophobic, they're very transphobic, and, you know, I just, you know, fuck that, you know. I'm not going to be around, you know, around an environment when I, if I go full time, you know, I'm not going to be in that environment that's not accepting, you know. I don't care how much they pay me, I don't care how good the benefits are, you know, and so, you know, I'm looking because I'm getting close to that point where I'm going to switch to full time, um, yeah, so, um, other things, I, what I really do is I program. Um, I'm very good at programming, I'm very good at um, designing, um, architecturing, things like that. Um, you know, I started there, here at my job as a co-op and they hired me on and I used to design some, I mean, I designed some really good stuff there, you know, for a co-op. And, you know, even now it's like, you know, there's, you know, I need practice, but, you know, that's like an accelerated program, almost. Um, but I come home, and I, uh, I remember I worked on this one project at home, and it was a artificial neural network uh, with um, predictions based on, you know, my prediction algorithm that I came up with. And it's really interesting stuff because it was getting really close. Um, for uh, predicting numbers and stuff like that, and I mean, I'm pretty fucking close, like, it's almost there, like, it's really cool, you know, I, I feel like the lottery isn't random as everyone says it is, but, you know, I'm working on predicting numbers, and it's getting there, um, that's kind of going to be like one of those on and off goals. Like, today I almost won 500 bucks. Um, I played a number, um, uh, 264 straight, and, uh, 064 came out, you know, based on my, uh, um, number predictor, and I thought that was pretty fucking awesome, you know, it was almost there, so, um, I'm missing some element, and I don't know what it is, but, you know, I, I do that, I program, and, um, when I don't program, I do music, and when I don't m do music, I sit on my ass and watch movies. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm really tired, and I'm gonna sign off pretty soon. So, what I just want to say is, you know, me being transgender makes careers a little bit difficult. Sometimes... Sometimes you can find the right job, very accepting people, sometimes you can't. So, you know, it's called moving along, you know, and finding what's best. But, alright, I bid you all very good bye, and hopefully you enjoyed this Saturday, because I'm really tired. I'm so sorry! <laughs> alright, bye-bye!